Welcome everyone to our prayer journey with my Tov. Today's devotional really is what we deal with every day in life. When we live in this world, we are going to have some difficulty because it tells us in the Bible, uh, in 2 Corinthians six seventeen, wherefore, come out from among them. Yet we're in the world. We can't come out from among them. You know, I think I think about when, uh, you know, I've typed in Z one time on, um, on the search engine for, like, prime videos. And what do you get if you type in Z? Hundreds of zombie movies. I didn't even realize how many zombie movies there are. And in a sense, a Christian in the world will give you a picture of what a zombie movie would be like. You wouldn't want to be, in, you know, watching one might be okay, but you don't want to be dropped in the middle of a zombie movie uh, that was in reality because they're all coming after you. And yet, in this world, in a sense, we live among a lot of zombies, a lot of people that just go about their life by their own rules, doing whatever's right in their own eyes. So you can imagine the amazement right now when I read these verses here. In chapter 46, I'm going to read verses 3 and 4. Jacob is in the promised land that God has promised him. He's in where the holy land is going to be. And he's been promised that forever his, by his father and his great-grandfather. And he's all set to follow God and stay there. But God comes to him and says this. In verse 3, I am God, the God of thy father. Fear not to go down into Egypt, for I will there make thee a great nation. And to Jacob, he's probably saying, you sent me to Egypt. That's the world. What about my promised land here that you told me about? But there's no food here. You know, I did a Bible study, verse by verse. You could check it out in the book of Ruth. And one of the reasons they left the land of Israel, the, the spiritual godly land of Israel, was because they needed bread. And they went on their own and left and brought a lot of hardship with them, although God was working through that also. So Jacob, rather stay in his nation than go to Egypt, but God tells him to go. And God follows it up with verse 4. Listen to this. I will go down with thee into Egypt, and I will also surely bring thee up again, and Joseph shall put his hand upon their eyes. What is God telling him? Joseph has gotten the foodstuffs in Egypt. He was the prime minister there. He bought great wealth and a lot of food there. And God says, trust me. Go into this world, go into Egypt, and eat and live there amongst them. But as I said before in 2 Corinthians 6, 17, come out from among them. Don't be part of them. And God promises him saying that he will cover his life. God saying, I will bring you out of that land and surely will put you back in the promised land. And if you go to the last chapter of Genesis, God does just that. Je Joseph has his father die. He talks to the Pharaoh. The Pharaoh says, go pr bury him in the promised land, in your father's land. And he goes back and he does that. What I want you to see is this is the same promise that God has given to us. Live in this world among the zombies Witness to them as many as will listen to you. I know that's hard sometimes. When they get saved, they can come out with you to heaven, to the promised land. You know, one of the great things about closing out the book of Genesis also is the same thing where God said, or Joseph said, you meant this for evil, but God meant it for good to bring many people out alive. Remember why you're here. You're not here for a job. God has given you provision in the world. To be among them, to tell them, to be ambassadors for Jesus Christ, that they may get saved and come to the knowledge of the truth, and you will bring out 
many people alive. So until next time, may Jesus increase as we decrease.